Darby Allen versus Bobby Fish. So perhaps in a tribute to the reverse battle royal at Slammiversary, like 80% of this match was fought on the floor. Uh, there's one point where Fish goes to ch- charge Darby, and the idea is that Darby will leapfrog him, oh. and Fish will go under him and crash into the barricade. What actually happened is Darby either didn't jump high enough or jumped too late or something, but Fish clips him. He still goes flying into the barricade, but Darby goes flying ass over tea kettle through the sky and lands on the floor. Now, here's the amazing thing about this. I watched this like five times because I couldn't believe that he would actually hit him this hard on accident, but he did. Mm-hmm. But the accidental results were better than if those was their plan and they tried it a thousand well, times. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if perhaps you're a mark, Vinny. Stranger things have happened. Because uh, I also thought that this was an accident. But uh, the more I thought about it, the more I, I just thought, how could you have fucked this up? Well, and then when it happened, like, the whole point of the match was Sting's leg had been taken out by the heels. Yes. Darby does a promo and vows, I will break your leg in this match tonight. Then he accidentally gets clipped and his fucking leg is injured. And he's hobbling on it. But he can still run. He can still hit the ropes as fast as he can to do his tope. Like, and then they work over his leg. And everything about it, it was like, it's possible that they just did a great job playing off an accident. But I, I kind of think that maybe this was perhaps on purpose. Because it was well, too perfect the way it all worked out. Well, I'll be the third mark in this group. I thought this was an accident. And it was I deemed it the most violent double down I've ever seen. Yeah. So this was like the opener in that Darby wrestled a Darby match and Fish wrestled a Fish match. He just did it on the floor for the most part. But it was not a clash of styles. It was a contrast of styles. And when Darby's got to throw, excuse me, when uh, Fish has to throw him into a barricade, he's Bobby Fish. He's not going to do like an Irish whip. He's going to do a dragon screw. <laughs> throw him by the leg. And then the, the, the follow through happens to send Darby into the barricade repeatedly. So they're just doing all sorts of insanity. A uh, coffin dropped to the floor, a spear from the apron to the floor, a German suplex in the apron. And then the finish is wrestling. <laughs> because Fish does an avalanche falcon arrow, which he transitions into a knee bar. Going for the leg. Going for the leg. But Darby out-wrestles him and turns the knee bar into the Last Supper for the win. And he beat him with a wrestling hold. This match was also awesome. So Red Dragon goes to murder Darby. But the lights go out. Sting appears in the ramp. Sting's the the spot that ends with, with Sting planting his baseball bat between Kyle's legs. That's that's the that's the end. But it, he, he I can't do it enough justice. He used it as a like as a spear. Yes. Like it wasn't like he swung the bat. He jabbed the bat into his uh, trout. Quite frankly, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then he kicked it into his. Uh, uh, yeah. Trying to think of a term Regal would use. The eggs. His uh, what's trout. What's the term that they use? Bollocks. No. Bollocks. Oh, man. This is driving me crazy. It's a cockney term, ironically. <laughs> but anyway, kicked into his, uh, you know, yarbles. The twins. No, someone help me. It's going to drive me. But anyway, then he uh, <sighs> throws him in the ring and they beat the hell out of this guy, get they, the chair. They pilmanize Fish's leg with a coffin drop onto the chair. And O'Reilly can do nothing to help but clutch his swollen balls and weep from the ramp. That's what happened. And that was Rampage. <laughs> This is a great match. It was awesome. I, I was on par with with Darby's match with Kyle O'Reilly, I thought. Yeah. Thumbs up all around. That was a yeah. very, very good episode of Rampage. Well, did you write down the card for next week as everyone gets their questions in for our live Q&A? Ironically, I did not. Would you like me to look it up? Yeah. Well, I mean, I got well, it I, here. I have a question for you, but uh, go ahead and read the card first, Brian. Well, no, that's the question. I'm Did trying you... to find uh, some cockney terms for uh, oh, testicles. Did you watch Nick Wayne and Will Ospreay this afternoon? No, I didn't. Was it good? It was fantastic. Excellent. You've got to go out of your way to see this. Well, why don't you tell us a little more about it there, buddy? Well, they wrestled really well, and they... <laughs> I didn't take. What happened? Who won? Well, what was course, the finish? Well... Will Osprey with the Oz cutter. Okay. Was he finished? But it was they Nick hung in there with the guy. It was fantastic. Well, that's excellent. It's, it's worth your fourteen dollars to buy it on Fight TV. Bangers and Mash. Right? Twig and berries. 
Anyway, where can we see this? Fight TV. Fight TV. GCW's uh, I Never Liked You is the name of the How show. How dare you? <laughs> That's the name of the show. How dare you, Craig? All right. Can't find my lineup. Yeah. I'm stuck on Urban Dictionary. Mm-hmm. I just can't re- I just can't go back. Trout always, Slapper. God. Yeah. It's always dick jokes with you. No, actually, it's not. This all started with William Regal. Am I wrong? No. He, he was the one who introduced Let's the Let's have program. a race, Vinny. It's like on the Dave show. We can get the lineup for next week first. He brought the term trout slapping into your life. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Right. Uh, Aussie opened Will Ospreay versus Orange Cassidy and Rapongi Vice. Sounds right. Malachi Black, Penta Oscuro. For the all- Did you guys see the uh, video when Penta was in the car telling those fucking kids to get back in school? No. <laughs> oh, my God. I was crying. <laughs> crying, laughing. It's on the board somewhere. And Chris Jericho and Lance Archer versus Moxley and Tanahashi. Chris Jericho and Lance Archer versus Moxley and Tanahashi. That should be good. That's a main event in any city. Sangha versus Lee. Stands on Lee's chest when she's down. Bangs her uh, her on the apron. Pull, um, puts elbow on her chin. Through her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, no. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend David versus Italian Perez. Woman. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. A that. little guy? It's now small. Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. No. no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.